say so Nikita Sashnikov, and this was called, this was kind of came out ye- Tuesday right after our show. Yes. He's got an out. If he's not called up by Tuesday next week, uh he can leave for the KHL. I saw that. So Derek Prime is Derek Prime is taking pictures of us, so we sorry we had to pause. Um what does that mean? Do they call him up? Yeah, so th- <laughs> this was the thing I was trying to figure out that was confusing. In order to honor that clause in his contract, is all they have to do call him up and then send him back down? Because so. if that's the case, who cares? It's basically a paper transaction. Yeah. Gives a sh- shit. Something about... But what if he has to take the bus all the way over from the re- from, from Peoria? <laughs> well, <laughs> from, from Rico to the Air Canada Center in Toronto, traffic's about an hour. Yeah. It, it might be a kilometer walk and take you 10 minutes. However, it's an hour oh in a car. Oh, my God. Anything west of Young can kick rocks. Yeah. Sorry, Jesse. <laughs> My, Caprice, the city. my fiance Caprice was saying the other day, she's like, you know, I really like the West End. I'm like, nope, 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 not moving there. Goodbye. The West End is great if you don't own a car mm-hmm. or don't have to go anywhere. If you want to walk <laughs> everywhere, West is, per- it's amazing. It's a great place to visit. Yeah. Park your car, leave it there the whole day. We have a, we have a buddy who's a plumber. And he was living in Whitby and commuted downtown to his job in the West End. <laughs> He has since moved to the West End, not all that far from his job site. The inner city traffic to get to his job site, he's basically only cut his commute by about 15 minutes. That's so crazy. Whitby is four suburbs outside of Toronto. Yeah. (laughs) Like, that's insane. Not suburbs. That's insane. It's two cities over. Yeah, cities. Cities. Yeah. It's absolutely insane. Sorry, where were we going? Uh, well, Soshnikov. Um, right. We were talking about the bus ride from Rico to the Air Canada uh, Center. Peoria. Peoria. <laughs> Why not dislike him that much that they're just going to hold on to him? Like, that seems like the kind of guy where if teams are calling and they offer you something decent, take it. Take it. The, he might bolt anyway, and there's teams around the league that could absolutely use a guy like Soshnikov. I don't know, Boston? Dude, Edmonton. <laughs> Edmonton would be great the for him. The Leafs could solve so many of Edmonton's problems. And that that is the sort of trade, like we talked about like Levo or or something like that and all this Marner for Nurse insanity. No, something really small. A guy who has played on the power play, regularly kills penalties, and is fast. And kind of nasty too. And kind of a prick. You want team speed? There's your team speed. And what do the Leafs get in return? Clef bomb. Clef bomb. No, uh, a pick. Oh. I'm happy with a pick. The Marlies need Sosh that bad? No. I mean, Jeremy Bracco was barely getting playing time. Like, they need to, they they have yeah. a glut. And you know that they're really high on Carl Grundstrom, who's in Sweden, and Andreas Johnson, who's still here. So, you know, I, I feel like those guys might jump him anyway in the organizational depth just based on the role he plays. What has to happen to the Leafs? Where we go, oh shit, we need Sosh right now. What has to happen? How many guys have to get hurt? How many penalty killers have to get hurt? Like both of Hyman and Brown need to get injured. Because you're going to call up uh, Kapanen first. You already got Goche, but he's at center. Ah, you know what? I don't know. I just convinced myself. Only two injuries. <laughs> maybe, maybe you got to keep Sosh. <laughs> maybe you got to keep him. I don't know. But if you, well, knowing the Leafs, they will. You should entertain <laughs> offers. You should um, definitely entertain offers. 